Hello and welcome to this new session. My name is Alok Kumar and today we are going to look into one new Terraform scenario based questions that very frequently asked in the interview. So you have a Terraform configurations that creates an EC2 instance with a public IP address but you want to restrict access to the instance using a security groups. What steps you can take to accomplish this in a Terraform? So in Terraform, you can use a security groups. We already know that to restrict access to EC2 instance by allowing some traffic only to from the specific IP address or you can provide any range CIDR blocks. The steps you can take to restrict access to an EC2 instance using a security groups. So need to create a new security groups in your Terraform configurations and specify the inbound that is called ingress and outbound egress rules to restrict access to the EC2 instance. For example, you can allow inbound traffic only from your IP address. Okay, so in that case, you can use either the static one, you can do the hard coded, like in this example, we creating one resource type, type is the AWS security groups, and this is the local name, my SG, and the name prefix we want to start with my underscore SG. The ingress, the inbound rules from port, so this is for the SSH, okay, to port. 22 protocol and the CIDR blocks we are using as a variable. You can hard code the IP address also, but this is not a good practice to do any kind of hard coding things. For the address, we are not worried about because this is the outbound traffic we are allowing for the all of the IPs. So in that case, we need to define the allow IP type is a string and the default we are currently opening it for the all of the IP addresses. Okay, so ingress primary parameter is used to allow inbound traffic on port 22 that is used for the SSH only from the IP address specified in the allowed IP variables. Okay, so we are using these variables. Okay, so in the variable.tf file, we have different different variables we define for one for the images, one for the instance type and the address parameter is used to allow outbound traffic to any destinations. To make your Terraform configuration more flexible, you can use the variables to specify the allow IP addresses and other parameters. You can define a variable for the allow IP address in your Terraform configuration like this. Okay, then it's time to associate the security groups to the EC2 instance. For this, we use the resource type as AWS underscore instance to create the EC2 instance or if it is already created, then you need to define the VPC underscore security groups ID and the security groups ID is my SG dot ID. Okay, so we already created it and the CIDR block we defined from the variables. Okay, so associate the security groups with the EC2 instance and modify your Terraform configurations to associate the security groups with the EC2 instance. You can use the VPC security groups ID parameters to specify the security groups ID that we already discussed. Suppose you have a Terraform configurations that create an EC2 instance with a public IP you can modify your configurations associated with the security groups with the instance. So this is mentioned here. Okay. So you can define here the subnet ID. All the things will come from the variables. Currently, it's only concerned about to how to allow the IP. But in the Terraform variables.terraform file, we have the variable defined for the AMI ID also, instance type also, key name also, subnet ID also. Okay. So in this example, the VPC security group ID parameter is used to associate the security groups with the instance EC2. You can then pass the allow IP parameter variable at the runtime also. So this is the hard coded thing again, but we are using the variable so we can override it at the time of applying the changes. Suppose this is for all the traffics, all the IPs, but 
we want to use it for a particular IP, in that case, we can use the where variables. So to, we can apply these configurations, the Terraform file configurations that we did using the Terraform apply dash where and the allow IP. This is the variable that we are overriding. So default will not come into the picture. It will override with the, this particular IP. Okay, so in conclusion, we can say that Terraform provides several options to restrict access to the EC2 instance using the security groups. So you can create a security groups and specify the inbound outbound rules to restrict access. Associate the security groups with the instance. Okay, so we have we can do the mapping that we created the EC2 instance, then we map the security groups ID for a particular with the particular security groups ID that we defined. And that security groups have ingress and aggress bonding and the configurations attached. Okay, so security groups with the EC2 instance and use the variables to make the Terraform configurations more flexible. So hope you liked my video. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please do, do subscribe it. This always motivate me. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Have a nice day.